Hello, 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 hello. Wherever you are on this transitional planet called Earth, I hope you are having a enriching day, evening, or night, wherever you happen to be located. Today, on my Blender channel, I'm going to be talking about an issue that solely deals with Blender. So, if you in 3ds Max or Maya, Houdini, wherever, what I'm going to talk about today, we won't cover that. My subject for the day is rendering and then selecting one of those unique, beneficial uh, slots. So let me start it off right now. I'm going to uh, render this image. Into the image so you can see it better and where you see is off is on slot one okay so that's good now the thing about the slots is when you want to go to you have to be in the render you have to render at least image one when I want slot two now I have to put it on slot two so remember you have to at least Render slot one first, and then you can go to slot two, do whatever. The order don't matter, but you know, usually we're just gonna go from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The order don't matter, but I'm just gonna stay in a nice order. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to slot two. You see, it's empty, it's blank. So now I can uh flick off this window. I'm just gonna click on my background, and I'm gonna change the base color to uh bluish color now let's render this now render image slot 2 has a blue background I'm going to put it on slot 3 now I might go up to slot 4 and then we're going to go back and check them so it's on slot 3 I can close this out I'm going to click on one of my cans. I'm going to scale it on the Z axis. Okay, that looks good right there. I'm going to scale this one on my Z axis. Right there. Now, I'm going to render this. Let's see what happened. Render image. It's on slot. Three. Now let's go and choose slot four. Slot four. I'm done with it. Now the good thing about the slots is it enable you to make changes to your scene. Like what you're going to see. It enable to make changes to my scene. The thing I like about it, if you don't like the new changes, you either can go up here and click on edit undo or redo I'm gonna click on edit undo or control Z edit undo edit undo now I'm back to what I was before I'm gonna click on my background let me give it a different color I'm gonna call it yellow okay let me render this render this render image it's on slot three. Now I'm gonna think I'm gonna stop it here on slot. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go to slot four. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do five like I said. Slot four. All right. Now I want to move one of my cans. Grab on Z. Let me move it up. I'm gonna grab this one. Grab on Z axis. I'm going to click over here on my toolbar with the move tool. For those who knew the blender, for those who have been around it's like I have, you can hit the um, shortcut keys. But if you're still new, you can click over here on the move tool. Well, I want to select my object first. Well, I select my object. Now I'm going to move this up. I'm going to render this. Render. It should be on slide four. There. Let me zoom out. So you can see it, so it's on slot four. And like I said, 
if you want satisfied you can hit you can go up to edit undo or edit redo but I'm just gonna hit control Z a couple times and I'm gonna put it back now see I made a mistake see edit I'm gonna do redo now redo edit edit redo keep getting I want to get it back to what I had before that that one yeah but this, this is a good so I got it back on edit redo I'm gonna go back to my render image so it's on still on slot four because remember when you go back and do the changes if I did not do the edit redo or edit or edit undo it would have it, it would have went to that slot the way I had it but I wanted to go back to what I had so I said remember if you make changes on the same slot it's going to erase that previous data let me say it again because I'm an educator if you have a stored because it's stored in a computer's cache or whatever if you made a changes to us a, um, a slot then you go back in the blender make changes again and go back to that slot it will erase the past data so it's important to always give it a different a new slot number. I say I'm gonna stop at five, so I'm gonna stop at five. So it's clear. I can get rid of this. Now I can go to edit, uh, undo, edit, undo, edit, undo, edit, undo. I want to get back in that initial form. Now I'm gonna move it up again. Some of my cans. Control. I'm well, one here. Um, why that's gonna. I have it on the move tool, so I might as well just move it up. And now I'm gonna rotate it. I'm gonna click on the rotate button, or you can hit R. I'm gonna rotate it. Right there, I wanna rotate it. Oh, Z. Nope, not that way. I'm gonna rotate it on around X. Rotate on X. Okay, that's what I wanted. Now I wanna go up with my move. Tool. Let me go up. I want to choose another can. I want to bring it up. Rotate it on the X. I want to bring it up again. And now I'm going to scale it. Scale it. So I made it. Look at that tiny. Let me bring another one up. And I'm going to scale this one too. Scale it down. I'm going to bring it up some more. Now, this should be on slot 5. So I'm going to render it. Render. It's on slot 5. Now, I'm going to show you the beauty of these slots. Let's go to slot 1. That's what it was originally. So it's, it's saving that data. Let me go to slot two. That's slot two. And I'm gonna go to slot three. There's slot three. Slot four. There's slot four. And here. Did I bring the slot five? Let me go back. I thought I did. But you got the idea anyway. I'm just going to render the image again. All right, slot five and slot four, they're identical, but you get the point. So, before I leave, you may be asking, okay, so what does the slot, how would the slot help me out? By giving it different slots, it will help you out when you rendering your image you see i'm in a render i'm in a render right now it will help you if you want to move around your lights i didn't move around no lights but i could have if i wanted to then i could control z if i didn't like it it could help you with the uh the coloring of your uh your particular mesh you can use the slots for like i said when you want to move something somewhere else on a different position you can say, how does it look in this position? And save it to that slot. So, I hope.
right, that's a little demonstration. You got an idea of how powerful it is to use the slots in the render mode. And we rarely have many tools that assist us when we actually do the render. Most of the stuff occur directly inside, you know, Blender. Those reports. The um the shader nodes. The compositor. That's what most of the stuff happen at. But there are a few tools that can help you with your final images in the renderer, such as slots. I'm glad you stopped by. I hope you enjoyed this discussion on how powerful slots are. And from what I've seen on YouTube, there are not many videos explaining how to use these slots. So it's an underappreciated, non-discussed topic that can help you when you have a sophisticated scene. Yeah. And one more thing too, if you have a sophisticated city scene, you may not like having a building or a house in a certain position. You may decide to move it in another position. And just by going to a different slot, you can see, does it look better in its new location? And if you don't like it, you just can hit Control Z or Edit Undo. As you all see, I don't give up on my blender. I keep learning. I keep learning. Now, for me, this is like a hobby for me. My profession is, I'm a math high school educator. But I still appreciate Blender. So don't stop, because I don't. I haven't stopped since version 2.76. And you know, since it's 2.91 now, the new version, if I haven't stopped yet, you know this is going to be a lifelong endeavor for me. The main thing, never give up. If you're new to Blender, you remember, the first to cover a thousand miles journey, you have to take the first step. Then if you take your after you take the first step, is is more palatable dude to make step two, three, four, and five and six. So, so remember, take baby steps, learn at your own pace. The blender community is pulling for you. I'm pulling for you. The Blender Foundation, they pulling for you. Because if they wouldn't, they wouldn't be making so many updates to Blender. Till next time, Blender family, peace. <laughs>